Hi. In this video, we're going to construct some pickable objects and assign grab points for one-handed and two-handed grabbing. So let's open up the uh, test rig project we've been using. So here we have it. Uh, all it's got is the left and the right hands. So we don't have any uh, physics layers set right now. So we'll go and run that uh, helper script to, uh, to set the name physics layers. You see that there. Just need to do that one workaround doing a modification just so it'll save correctly. So then save and quit. Reload it. All right. So we need to be able to move around and pick things up. So We'll grab a movement direct and attach it to the left hand and give a strafing. Another movement direct on the right hand. No strafing, but we'll use the uh, the turn provider. And we'll grab some uh, pickup functions, one on the left hand and one on the right. All right, so that gives us an avatar that can move around and pick things up. But we're going to need to pick up some fun things. So. Let's search for the uh, K-Kit uh, Dungeon Remastered uh, assets and download those guys. I'm going to fast forward over this, uh, just the importing. No point in having you watch it. All right. So. This has a, a table in here. We don't want to be bending over and picking things up uh, from the floor, so we'll find the uh, the table uh, large, I think it is. A table long. There we go. So we want it to be physical, so let's turn physics on and let's crank the quality up so that uh, it maps the uh, the surface nicely. So bring that in and position it in front of the player. A little tall, um, so let's modify that and change the root scale down a little bit. So there we go. That looks a little uh, more nicely sized. So we're going to create a new scene inheriting from the pickable base scene in XR Tools, and we name this one to Bottle. Save this at uh, the root of the project. And let's find uh, the, uh, I think there's a bottle A brown. There we go. So again, we're gonna need to be, uh, uh, have a physics collider so we can pick it up. So there's a simple uh, convex collider on this one. Drag that into our uh, scene. Oh, that's a little large as well. So let's change just about 40% of its original size. There we go. All right, so we're going to make local, which expands the pieces inside here. So we'll copy the collider that it has and paste the uh, collider on top of the, the one that comes with the pickable. So we don't need the collider or the static body anymore, and we can bring the mesh up. So now we have the collision shape and the mesh uh, as direct properties of this pickable object. All right. Next thing we're going to do is give ourselves a, a highlight ring uh, to make it visible. So that's under Objects, Highlight, and drag the highlight ring in. Okay, so bring that up a little bit. Uh, there we go, roughly in the middle. All right. So let's give ourselves some grab points. So uh, grab point hand left and hand right. Bring those in. And let's make them visible. All right. So they're not in the right position, and they also don't have a good pose. So if we go to the Godot XR Tools GitHub page, there's a link to the website. If we bring up the documents under Player, uh, there's hand poses. So large list of standard hand poses that come with Godot XR Tools. So I think the one we want for this is the cup pose. So go first hand pose and then uh, 
expand that up. So underneath hands, animations, left. We'll find the uh, left hand cup posing. So we'll just use that for both. We do need to toggle the, uh, the preview pose to have it apply. So we can now drag this hand roughly into position. Fingers not quite looking so good there. Let's see what we can get. All right. Mm. Yeah. That's still occluding that finger. That's about right. It's, you know, don't have to be perfect for this. So let's do the same thing on the other hand. So we definitely want to make sure to use the right hand animations. If you put the right hand on the left or the left on the right, things will bend pretty badly for the fingers. So oh, and let's uh, toggle the uh, the pose. There we go. So we'll just get that to roughly line up there. A look from the front. There we go. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Okay, we'll turn both of those off, save the scene, and uh, let's change it so when we do a second hand grab, we swap between hands. Let's go back to the main scene and uh, let's drag a few of these onto the table. So. All right. Save that and let's see how it looks. Hand swapping's working. And, hmm. Yeah, we can't fall over. The center of mass isn't right. So, let's go back to the bottle. And we can change the mass distribution. About high up do we want this? Uh, let's use the uh, highlight ring to roughly work out how high we want this. About one and a half. Yeah, about there's looking good, about uh, about 0.1. So oop, let's put that uh, ring back to, uh, to where it should be, about there. And then, uh, oop, not inertia. Uh, so change the center of mass, uh, the custom, and at 0.1. OK. This should work a little better. All right, we're now falling about naturally there. Let's see if I can balance some of these. <laughs> All right, those are looking uh, quite nice. Let's try a second one. Let's uh, let's do the torch. So create a new inherited scene. Again, from the objects pickable. We'll name this one to Torch. And save this again at the root. All right. So if we go to the uh, dungeon assets, scroll down and find the uh, the Torch. All right. So it's a fairly complex shape, so we'll lay, leave this as uh, a convex decomposition. So, still a bit big there. So, so again, scale this down by, uh, let's do half this time. All right. So again, we're going to want to uh, make local.
copy the uh, collider. And this one has two colliders. So now that we've copied the first, we can bring the second over, delete the uh, static body, and bring in the mesh. So we've got our two convex colliders and the torch mesh. All right. So let's go and uh, bring in the uh, the highlight ring to begin with. Position that. Uh, roughly in the middle of the torch. There we go. And bring in the grab points. That goes visible. All right. So we're going to want to find the uh, the grab pose that works well for this. Let's see. I think uh, grab one works for us. So go back to the hand animations, left hand, and grip one. Ooh, my bad. Make sure I only grab one at a time. There we go. Toggle. And let's put that in roughly the right spot. All right, that uh, pinky finger there is going to be a bit challenging, I think. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can position this a bit better. Let's tilt that down slightly. All right, yeah, that looks very nice. Let's call this the, uh, the top hand, yeah, grab point top, because we're going to add a second grab point further down. So, the right uh, grip one animation, use that for both the open and closed, toggle that. Let's see if we can get the uh, these to line up. Okay, now check how much do we twist that, uh, 7.8 degrees. All right, so get this one to match the same twist angle. Get them to line up. That's about right. All right. Those look good. Oh, name that guy. All right. So we're going to set this to second hand grab being a second grab point. And we'll change the top hands to be uh, the primary grab point. So when you first grab it, that's where your hands will be, or your first hand will be. And let's drag in a second set of grab points. We'll call these uh, uh, bottom uh, grab. These want to use the, uh, the same hand poses. Grip one. And same thing on the right hand. Let's try and position both of these at the same time. So both of those visible, let's adjust that. All right. Because we have uh, moved both at the same time, they're aligned. All right, so we we'll set these as secondary grab points. So these will only be effective when it's held by its primary. So we'll turn off the hands, save that, and drag the torch onto the table. All right. 
let's uh, have that laying down. That's about right. Let's see how this works for us. As you can see, if I let go, so it's only holding by the secondary, it immediately makes it primary. And we'll knock over the bottles. All right. Well, I think that uh, just about does it for this video. Thank you.